Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to draw samples from the multivariate T distribution. This is a follow-up to my video on how to sample from the multivariate normal, but unlike the multivariate normal, the multivariate T distribution does not, to the best of my knowledge, have an implemented function in NumPy or SciPy. So, in order to do this, I want to pay attention to the definition of what is a multivariate T. And uh, in particular, you can see that if you define this variable y, which is drawn from a normal distribution with mean zero and convariant sigma, and you define this random variable u, which is chi squared distributed with a certain degrees of freedom, then this ratio has a multivariate t distribution with mean zero. So using this ratio, we can actually build out a NumPy implementation, NumPy and SciPy implementation, that will draw samples from a multivariate T. Before I get started on that, though, I want to pay attention to what's in this denominator here, this square root of u over nu, where nu is the degrees of freedom. And in particular, if we go to the chi-squared page, you can see that there is a special relationship where if you have an, a variable x, which is chi-squared distributed with nu degrees of freedom, and you have a parameter c fixed greater than zero, then c times that random variable actually has a gamma distribution. So if we go back to the definition of the multivariate t, we can actually regard c as being equal to one over the degrees of freedom. And so we can just skip right to sampling from a gamma distribution, and we don't need to sam first sample a chi-squared and then divide it by the degrees of freedom. So, <clears throat> to see how we might actually do this, let's go to some code. We're actually going to use the multivariate normal sampler that I implemented in our last video. If you haven't seen that, I'll add a link down in the description. But that's going to handle the part where we're sampling from a multivariate normal distribution. It's going to handle uh, creating the y uh, parameter. In any case, let's define a multivariate student sampler. It'll take in a mean, a covariance, a degrees of freedom, and again an n samples parameter, which I'll make optional and equal to 1. The first thing we'll do is sample the, the gamma parameter. So we'll do np.random.gamma, and then it is 2 over the degrees of freedom. The scale is degrees of freedom over 2. Let's just make sure I got that right. Degrees of freedom over 2, 2 over degrees of freedom. I got it wrong, it's backwards. DOF over 2, 2 over degrees of freedom. 2 over dog. <laughs> and uh, we actually need a size to be equal to n samples, comma 1. Now we can sample y. We'll use n multivariate normal sampler for that. Mean, cove, n samples. Very easy. And then we can actually return y over. And now we actually need to make u into to have the proper shape to in order to broadcast it into y. So right now it is a, a ten thousand or well, excuse me. It is a n samples by one vector of gamma distributed random variables, but y will be n samples by number of dimensions. So we actually need to, uh, if you're familiar with MATLAB, repmat u in order to make it broadcastable into y, or with Python, we'll use the tile function. So we'll do np.tile np.square root, remember we had the square root around u in the, uh, in the definition, and then <coughs> and then we actually need a shape parameter. So we need m to be equal to m uh, mean.shape of 0, and the number of times we're going to tile it is, I think, 1 by m. And by the way, I see I've made a mistake here. This is not, this should not be the mean. It should actually be a vector of zeros. 
because we're going to add the mean back in. If we go back to the definition of the multivariate t, you can see it requires a mean of 0 here, not a mean of mu, not an arbitrary mean. So we'll do np.zeros, n comma, that should do. And then we can just add in the mean vector. All right, so now I think we can, we can test this out. I have a little test function here. So we'll have a mean vector of minus 5 and 2. We'll have a covariance uh, matrix with variance for the first dimension 1, covariance between the two dimensions as 0.3, and then a variance of the second random variable as 2. We'll have a degrees of freedom equal to 3, and... Uh, we're going to sample quite a few. How many is this? Is it a million? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess it's 10 million. All right, let's run it and see how we do. Python dash i multivariate student t sampler. Have I saved it? Indeed, I have. Run it. Okay, so now let's do x dot mean axis equals zero. We get minus five and two. That looks to be correct. What is the covariance? We get 3, about 0.9, and about 6. Now you may be thinking, hmm, this doesn't seem correct because our covariance matrix uh, is certainly not really close to the empirical covariance matrix. But fortunately this is actually correct because if we go back and look at the properties of the multivariate t, you'll see that the variance is actually equal to the degrees of freedom divided by the degrees of freedom over t minus 2 times the covariance matrix. So, when we put in a degrees of freedom equal to 3, we'll just actually multiply the covariance matrix by 3, because 3 minus 2 equals 1. And so we'll end up with about 3, about 0.9, and about 6 which is indeed uh, what, we, what we see empirically. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, uh, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Uh, comment and subscribe if you'd like to. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.